white helmet rescuers comb the rubble of the site of an explosion for victims. Little by little, a few lucky survivors emerge. A multi-story building block housing both civilians and an arms depot exploded on Sunday, killing and injuring dozens, including many children. The explosion occurred in Syria's northwestern Idlib province, located along the Turkish border. There are two destroyed buildings, both of which are five stories tall. There are families stuck under the rubble, and we took out five people who were alive and two bodies. The number is expected to rise because there were many residents in the building. The cause of the blast remains unknown. According to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, the arms depot in the basement of one of the buildings was run by an arms dealer with past links to Al-Qaeda. Many of the building's residents were reportedly family members of jihadist fighters that had been driven out of other regions of Syria. The explosion comes just days after the Syrian army urged inhabitants of Idlib, the last major rebel-held stronghold in Syria, to agree to the return of state rule. In an interview with Russian media, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has hinted the province could soon be the target of a large-scale offensive. In addition to stepping up airstrikes, multiple regime reinforcements were recently sent to the outskirts of the northwestern province.